confident, vibrant, and quirky with an edge. This is 10 Minutes with Tiffany J. Minutes with Tiffany J features the inside scoop as she juggles the world around her, a nine to five, along with a handful of gifts and talents that will blow your mind. All things Tiffany J on her website at MissTiffanyJ.com. Now, let's get into the show. Hey guys, so I'm driving again and just going through a few things in my head. It's just like a conversation that I want to have with whomever's listening, close friends. If you've never met me, hey, my name's Tiffany J. And uh, my introduction pretty much spelled it out. Um, but what it didn't spell out is something new has occurred into my life. I am a mother. And it sounds so weird to even say that. I'm still processing, like, what? Um, so right now, it's I have me and my daughter. She's in the back in the car seat. I just came from the bank. I'm going to go get some food and go back to the house and do some more, like, administrative stuff as far as, like, my, you know, personal business money affairs. But I wanted to come on to just sort through my thoughts. Um, I text one of my friends, and I was like, I need counseling. And she was like, you want me to find you somebody? Because she does, she does therapy and things like that. And she was like, for postpartum or like, you know, what? And I just, I just know I need counseling, period, because I'm in a new stage in my life. And I just want to make sure that all of my thoughts are, like, going where they're supposed to be going. So some of those are, like, and I want to be clear, like, the thoughts that I have, they're not like I'm necessarily going to act on them. I just think about them and... I just don't want to get to the point where if I think about them too much, I just get, like, really, really low and I tend to lose desire or whatever the case is. So some of them I just, I have thoughts, I guess. Maybe not feelings and maybe they are feelings. I don't really know. But feeling anxious in, like, I'm locked into, like, a commitment pretty much for lifetime. And what does that mean? What will that yeah, what does that mean? What is that going to require of me, right? You see TV shows and movies of people, you know, giving their lives for their kids. And not that it's going to be that dramatic, um, but it may be of some sort. You never know what could happen down, down the line. And so that's something that I think about that I must be ready for. Sometimes when I look online and I'm... Look at, let's, let's say, like, my favorite artist or something like that. All of these people have grown up, and we all had to start somewhere. So I'm like, oh, my gosh, like, what will, who will my child be? Like, you know, all these unknowns, and I'm just trying to peek, desperately trying to, like, peek into the future. <sighs> and did, um... I don't know, it kind of makes me nervous as far as, like, what will what will be based on what has already occurred. Um, we are, she's one month old, right? One month and five days. So, two months will be here it's really quick, and then so will three. And then after that, I have to go back to work. Even though that's something that I'm dreading because I'm just trying to get into the groove and really enjoy this time. Uh, sometimes the days go by really slow. And I really want to use my time. I don't want to go back to work like, oh, I should have did this, this, and this. And now I ain't got time to do it. I'm just trying to pace myself. A lot of people say, oh, you're going to slow down. Or you may need to slow down or whatever. Um, that may be... A perspective. I think what I am learning is in some aspects, yes, but in some, I think I just want to take my time. And it may come off as 
slowing down. But I just want to take my time. I don't want to be rushed. I don't want to be rushed. <laughs> That's pretty much, you know, it. And I've learned with my the condition of my feet, they're kind of going through something right now and I'm waiting for them to heal, but they're very delicate. And with that, I actually have to, I have to take my time. I cannot rush at all or else I might risk um, damage. And it's actually not a bad way to, to live, just taking your time. It's something that I notice about old people that have been here and it's not necessarily that they're slowing down because they're old they just realize it's no point in rushing or trying to hurry up now you can have a sense of urgency but I feel like have a sense of urgency within your thought process within how you handle your whatever you got to do but just take your time and don't allow the external factors of the day to ruffle your feathers to cause you to get outside of like your zone or your flow and I think that's all I want to do I'm learning in this new season I have a new flow and I but I but what makes me anxious is I don't even know what it is like I'm trying to figure it out I don't fit into like 80% of my clothes and that makes me feel some kind of way I look in the mirror and I'm like okay I, I see you under there. I see you. Is it going to come after I'm done pumping milk? You know, like breastfeeding? Or is it going to come only after I commit myself to exercise? How much am I going to be able to commit myself to exercise? Am I going to have the energy? Are my toes going to be healed by then? I don't know. Um, the other thing I'm anxious about is um, missing out on not necessarily life but the things that I've been a part of um, I'm not on those scenes right now and a lot of people say don't worry about it we know where you are and some people say you're not missing anything but you know sometimes when you're present and where the party is you just want to be a part since you could say you was there and you know you had a really good time and I haven't I haven't I the things that make me happy getting my my toes done like pedicure and going to Thursday nights you know and like those stuff like I haven't been able to do the things that pour into my system that pump me up you know so I'm I'm not worried but I'm just like ah so what else do I do now there there are days where I'm like okay I'm, I'm feeling great the sun is out I might have a, a, a burst of energy, a burst of like a high spirited moment. And then after that, I go back into this little bit of a funk that I've been in. I'm up all, all day, meaning all hours of the day, meaning, yeah, just up. 12 o'clock, I'm up checking the time. All right, I got to get back up at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. Do the same thing. All right, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., which actually, this whole thing might be even better for what I got going on in the future. Soon, I'll be able to probably sleep for five hours, maybe even six. Oh, you could tell I'm tired now. So rude. I'm yawning on the thing. But hopefully, um... As she gets older, hopefully I'll be able to spread out my time a little bit more. But I'll also be I'll also be more disciplined to be able to get up when I need to get up and do the things I need to do. Because she won't it's like she won't let me, you know. Sometimes there'll be a cry where it's like, uh, eh, and I can put a pacifier in to like ease her, you know, that that fix because she's a little bit hungry, I can I can put it off for a little bit. And then in 30 minutes, I'm like, nah, she's hungry. Let me get up now. Like those kind of things. It's like sometimes life doesn't wait for you and you need to get up and do what you have to do. So that part, if it was something that I was putting off as far as procrastination wise, like on my own personally, what she's teaching me is I can't, I can no longer do that. And um, 
you have to because somebody's depending on you. So at least level one, as far as sacrifices go, that's one where, you know, it's it has its, uh, it's taken a little bit of a toll and that's only in the amount of sleep that one wants to get or rest, that's all. And the times where I really do appreciate is if I just need to go, like, if I hadn't had a chance to take a shower or do something somebody can take her off my hands so I could really like especially like if it's feeding time that's a really difficult time like come on sorry I'm talking to this lady in the parking lot about the park what what are we doing hold on a second pause people I'm trying to the hardest thing is when you are parking but you're trying to back in and it throws other people off because they don't typically back in. I'm a back in driver, okay? Because I feel like if I got to hurry up and get out or if I'm in a tough spot, I ain't got to worry about, oh, let me see what's behind me. And no, I can clearly see where I'm going. Boom, move out and go. All right, so I don't went over my time. But yeah, this this was about the anxiety of the day, like letting your mind wander and just the things that I've been thinking about. And mm, it's going to get better. That was another edition of 10 Minutes with Tiffany J. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I know I did. Now you can get more episodes on my website at www.misstiffanyj.com. But don't stop there. Hop on over to the music tab and check out your favorite Tiffany J record, starting with my latest singles, Work For It and Call Me, which is on all digital platforms. Also with a bomb video showcase on YouTube featuring the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, y'all, this is for the few people that I rock with. And if you want to connect with any of them for their expertise and their craft, hit me up so that I can link you. First, I want to shout out my indie label, 646 Entertainment Group. It's a one-stop shop for the ultimate music experience, artist development, engineering, road management, business awareness on how to properly release your songs, get royalties, and more. Next, I want to shout out No Gossip, Just Talk with Tanisha and Mitra, who inspired me to step outside of my comfort zone and start this podcast. I pop up every now and then with a topic, and we have a blast with Girl Talk 101. Special attention needs to be drawn to my boy, Serian, for answering my prayers and becoming a part of my journey musically and beyond. More to come as life unfolds. I'll save some for later. Now, my jewel, no pun intended, is my accountability partner who has like the exact same mind as me. When we link, things happen in the atmosphere. I am so glad we crossed paths. Angel, my love, you are an inspiration. Dance fitness is a lifestyle, and you do it with such ease. If anyone wants to be fit, curvy, wavy, let me know. We can get our dance craze on with Angel. She's also one of the guests of No Gossip Just Talk, so make sure you check her out there. Last but not least for now, the Purple Charlotte Steppers Club, which embodies an entire dance community of some of the best people I've met on the planet. You'll see me live there Thursday at 6.30 on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram with the Purple Thursday Experience. Now, if you listening to this need ad space and want to join the platform, DM me and we'll discuss membership so that we can get your business out there. Reserve your spot as next with Purple Charlotte Steppers Club. You all take care. What's up, Dance World? This your boy, Herschel KG. This beautiful lady is... I'm Tiffany J. If you missed out last week, you do not want to miss out this week because no. last week was lit. Amazing. So, if you want to be in the building, make sure you go to purplecharlotte.com. Reserve your spot. Yeah. Okay? And if you can't make it, it's all right because you can go to Purple Charlotte Steppers Club on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and do what? Join us live. 6.30 on Thursdays. We'll see you there, okay? We your host, Tiffany J. Herschel KG. Uh, Deuces. We'll see you there.